19 consecutive days logging in on my sleeper account. Remember there was a one day jump as well on this account so it's time now to go to my new target kingdom that has just turned day 10 days old which means it's ready to for me to go to. First thing I've got to do though is just grab a uh, leave this alliance. Off we go. Oh wait a second before we go. Oh we just grab those last few resources. Quit the alliance. And then we've just got to enjoy my little private one. Uh, L. There we go. And let's join there. Into the shop. And there it is. The passport's all ready to be purchased. Let's just grab one. And of course I only need one. My power's under... Uh, 10 million. I'm only 3 million power at the moment. Let's have a look what ranking that gets me. So individual power. I'm 39th. Although quite a few powerful players have left this kingdom already uh, due to some civil war. So I'm really about 50 but I'm down to 39 at the moment. I'm City Hall 21. Pretty proud of that. Uh, let's have a quick look at the academy. Uh, only 6-4 on the technology and I have done all the tier 3 so that's where I am at the moment on the account. Let's now go to the world page. Our target kingdom is 2967. There we go. Where are we? 2967. So that's green for field. It's within the 10 days. Uh, so one hour and 23 minutes ago, it opened for migration. We're going to zone four. And that's my great. I'm going to lose some stone and a little bit of gold, which is upsetting. Number five, you're part of an alliance. Ah, whoops. Uh, alliance, quit. I need to give that alliance away to somebody. Oh, no, no, you're not joining. Not there yet. Let's have another go. 2967. Zone 4, migrate. Boom. Oh, no, losing gold. Delete. There it is. Can't migrate for another 30 days. Let's see where we are in the rankings. Quite exciting. And of course I've got the Hidden Lotus this time. I'm much more happy with the account at the moment. I feel a lot stronger. Uh, let's have a look. Straight into rankings. Individual power. Wow, look at the whale at the top there. And I'm in 13th. That's pretty good. So, Kingdom Day 10. And I'm 13th in the power. Free to play. That's a massive, massive job. Let's see if I can just jump straight into an alliance. Join. And where are the guys that I'm meant to be joining? Here we go. Let's apply. They've got a spot. Let's hope I can get in. So this is my second try at the sleeper strategy. Uh, last time was a pretty significant game, but of course I was stockpiling, so I went from about 250 to 50, but this time I've gone from about 40th to 13th, so really happy to be right up there in the power. Hoped I can get straight into this alliance, and as I say, really happy with this account at the moment. Let's have a little go through of exactly the power breakdown. So, building 1.4, tech 500, troops 546, commander power 527, but remember a lot of the commander power is spread in the power. I need to get my sunset team ready now. Uh, 268 on the troop numbers. A uh, little bit of tier 3 there. Nothing special on achievements, 685. Let's now go and have a look at the campaign. Expedition even. I'm stuck on 45, just haven't got the firepower to get through it. 
Also, one of the bonus levels I can't beat, and I can't beat YSG at the moment, but pretty happy with that. Uh, of course, I haven't started uh, Sunset Canyon yet. Let's have a look at what I've got left, though. No resources, but it doesn't matter because I'm about well, I have I'm about to meet my new farm, which has been cooking away for about 14 days waiting for me. Um, so it jumped to this kingdom. So my farm is stacked up and ready to help me push on with the power. I've got the seven day reward from the City Hall 21. I've got the three hours again from the City Hall 21 reward. But apart from that, I haven't got a lot. But don't worry. Uh, I'm going to be stockpiling now for a little while. Getting ready for an event that I'm interested in. Uh, equipment, not looking brilliant. I'm going to have to get that sorted. Uh, action points, pretty low. Pretty happy with the way you get a lot of 50s now. That's from the King of Tribes uh, doing all those forts. Uh, nothing special there. 11 heads. Let's have a look at the commanders. So this is really the team I'm looking at. Uh, just as a stopgap, I got City Keeper, just as a frontline meat shield. Corso is better than you think early game. 5 defense, 5 attack, 5 health, and 15% uh, defense for 5 seconds. That's pretty impressive, really. And he has the valuable attack, which we don't usually see the attack talents used, but there's some really good stuff in here. There's uh, reduce all damage. The increased normal attack by 6%, but decreased skill damage by 3%, which of course, as I've put in with Joan, that doesn't affect him at all, the 3% reduced in skill. Uh, that's 1.5 times his star level for attack. So a lot of goodies on him. Uh, I'm going to be using Ethelfled. Uh, no, I'm not. I'm probably going to be using Archer. He'll lead my Archers to Infantry. And then Lohar might lead some Siege, but we will have a think about that. I've been a bit unlucky with um, my usual Siege trick. That I haven't landed anything in the Mora passive skill, but never mind. Let's have a look. So that's Commanders. Um, I still haven't joined this alliance yet. I'm not going to panic. But thanks for following this series. Thanks for following me here. I hope you find 3 million power impressive. I've got lots of work to do here to keep this going as an exciting account uh, for you all to follow. Yes, I got some more. I can get five hours worth of strategic reserve. That's brilliant. Um, fort C. Oh, God, I've done enough forts for a moment. Uh, race against time. I'm going to have to restart. Uh, but I have three attempts. I'm, well, 22,000 to beat. Let's see if I can do that. So thanks for following the account got a seasonal event now uh, and we're really launching this account really proud to be free to play in position let's have a look at it again in position 13 thanks for watching